Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. You know how I do because I don't want to waste your time or honor your time and I thank you for um, joining me in these videos. So let us get right into it. I want you to join me in the book of Hosea. Um, chapter 14, starting at verse 1 and 2. I will be doing this reading from the Complete Jewish Bible. It is a translation by um, Dr. David H. H. Stern. Verse 1. Return Israel to Jehovah your God. For your guilt has made you stumble. Take words with you and return to Yahuwah. Say to him, forgive all guilt and accept what is good. And we will pay instead of bulls the offerings of our lips. Hallelujah. Now, what do that mean? The offering of our lips. That is referring to our confessions, our prayers, um, our praise, our worship. That is the sacrifice of praise that we do with the lips that flows from the mind, a, a, a sincere, wholehearted person that is completely given over to the creator. They know they have done wrong. They know that they have transgressed according to his will, according to his desire. Now, such a one is away from the temple. Such a one is outside of the land. There, there is no temple. There is no Levitical priesthood. So how do we make things right? Because some people think the only way we can make things right with the creator is we have to give an animal sacrifice. And that is not true. Some say, well, since we can't do animal sacrifices, the only way you could be right with the creator is you have to accept the ultimate sacrifice that was given by Yeshua. He is the ultimate sacrifice. And if you accept him with all your heart, you will be forgiven. I'm going to offend some people by saying this, but that is not true. The creator, the Holy One of Israel, do not accept human sacrifices. A divine human sacrifice, he do not accept human sacrifice, period. No matter what level of humanity it may be. A divine human, it doesn't matter. He do not accept it. One thing about when you, um, this is a quick sidebar. When you look in the book of Leviticus, you see the things that are listed by Yehovah on what is acceptable to give unto him. And a righteous divine man is not on that list. So we see when we are in exile, when we are away from the temple, have no way of getting to it. One way we can always make things right with the creator is through our repentance, through our confessions, making known um, the transgressions that we had did before his face, before his eyes, and our whole heart plead to him to wash us and cleanse us, to give us a second chance so that we could do things right. What is doing things right? What is our good? Our good is when we walk according to Torah. It's not us establishing our own form of righteousness and want to bring it before his face as if it's good. The only good that we can offer before him is to walk according to the Torah. The Torah is the righteous teachings and instructions of our Elohim that was given to our master teacher Moses, given to our ancestors, which meant it was also given to us. There is no other Torah to follow. This is the Torah to follow. And one thing I want to share real quick before I close. Even though there are 613 commandments, not one person is required to keep all 
613 commandments. We have to learn to look within the Torah and find out what the Torah is truly saying. To find out, once you find out what is required of you, keep that. Because there's some commandments that are there written that are for women. If you're a man, guess what? You can't follow them. There are some that's given to the king. Even though we may glean from them, but if you didn't observe them, you wouldn't be in sin because it's a law given to the king. There are some laws that are given to the priests. It's not for us to keep. Even though we could glean from them and make a practice of them. But if you didn't keep them, you would not be in sin because um, we are not Levitical priests. But it's certain laws that governs the whole nation. Those we all can keep. But all 613 is not for one individual to keep. I know some people say that, well, um, Yeshua is the perfect sacrifice because he kept all the law. No, he did not keep all the law. I hate to um, burst your bubble, but he, didn't keep, he did not keep all the laws. Because as I said, some laws are for women. Last time I checked... Um, Yeshua was not a man. So you need to stop saying things that are not true. And I'm going to make this perfectly clear because some people um, may get it confused. I am not a Christian. I am no longer a Christian. I used to be a Christian. I'm not a Christian. My views of Yeshua is different um, than others. I do not see him as the Messiah. I do not see him as the only begotten son. I do not see him as the ultimate sacrifice. I definitely do not see him as God in the flesh. I only see him one way and one way only. I see him as a teacher. I see him as a rabbi. And I do not agree with everything that it has him utter, things that they contribute to him. In the um, Bible, I don't contribute all that I see in red as his words. But here's the one thing y'all need to understand. I do not look towards him for salvation in any degree. He does not bring me closer to the creator if I believe in him. What brings me closer to the creator is keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments and walking, having a, um, a repentant heart. When I do wrong, to make it known unto the Creator, turn from that wickedness and walk according to Torah. It's to separate myself unto Yehovah and live accordingly. That is my walk. That is my pathway to redemption. We as Israel play a role in our redemption. Even though we wait on the Creator, what are you doing as you wait? So that's all I want to share at this time. This is your brother Yael. And remember, you don't need no human sacrifice. You don't need a divine sacrifice. You don't need a sacrifice. You need to give him your words. You need to confess. You need to repent. And that's our portion. Because we are outside of the land. There is no temple. There is no function in priesthood. So my brothers and sisters, do not be fooled. To think you now need to accept the sacrifice of Yeshua. Because you do not. Hold true to what Yah said. He said bring your words. Repent. And start walking again according to Torah. Worship only Yah and Him alone. That's all I wanted to share at this time. This is your brother Yael. Peace.